Okay, so here's the deal. Originally, when I was gonna do this video, I had planned to use the biggest pack of Crayola crayons they have. And in my mind, I was prepping myself up for this really huge challenge. I thought it was gonna be massive. Well, I ordered the biggest pack and let me show you the size of it. This right here, 240 crayons. Which don't get me wrong, 240 crayons, that's a lot of crayons. That's more crayons that I could probably ever need in my lifetime. But if you know anything about my channel, I love to push myself to the absolute limit. And when it comes to a challenge, something this small, it ain't gonna cut it. So guys, I'm gonna use every single crayon product that Crayola currently has on the market. Okay, let's get started. So let's talk about the rules when it comes to this drawing. The only rules that I'm giving myself is that every single crayon has to make at least some kind of a visible mark on the page. The second rule is that I'm only going to be using Crayola crayon products in this video. So other Crayola products like Crayola colored pencils, colored markers, as much as we love them, they're out of this video. And the final rule for this video is that even if I find repeats of the exact same color, I'm still gonna include it in the drawing because I feel like it would be cheating otherwise. It's currently 10.33. I'm sitting here with $300 worth of Crayola crayon products. I just finished most of my espresso. We're already off to an unhinged start for an unhinged video. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get this challenge started. So it's day two now. Day one went very well. Oh God. And so far the total number of crayons that I've used for the first section total a little bit over 700 crayons, which might seem like a lot, but we need to pump those numbers up. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I am panicking a little bit because I'm only one fourth of the way through and literally already two thirds of the artwork is already done but I'll worry about that when the time comes to worry about that. Now this brings me to section two of the crayons. This section will feature the special crayons. They're not traditional crayons, but they are sold year round. So for this section, I'm gonna have you think glitter crayons, neon crayons, construction paper crayons, bathtub crayons, and my only concern for this section is that some of the crayons that I'm gonna be using that are special effects, they have a different texture than regular crayons. It's like if you have ever used a glitter crayon, you know just how dry and chunky they write. Uh, maybe not though, because it's been like 20 years since I've used a glitter crayon. So maybe they've like changed their technology since then. But from what I remember, the glitter crayons Kind of sucked. Right now, it's currently seven o'clock in the morning, so let's go ahead and see how long it takes me to use the special effects one. Like you twist it and it goes up.
Okay, so it is currently day three and I just finished up with day two. And as you can see, the artwork is coming along fantastic. It's super vibrant, it's super colorful. And originally I thought the glitter crayons were gonna cause me problems, but let me tell you. I'm using crayons that I've never even heard of before for this video. And the type of crayon that is a demon crayon that I will never use again in my life, these ones. These are the most frustrating, infuriating, evil crayons. So if you're old like me and you have no idea what a confetti crayon is, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm getting like pissed off just thinking about it. But basically what the confetti crayons are is that it's a regular crayon, but inside of it, it has little tiny bits of other crayon pieces, which when I ordered these, I had no idea what I was in for. And so if you look closely, you can see one of the areas where I went to go use the yellow and it started rubbing pink all over the yellow section. But other than that debacle, everything else went very, very well. The total number of crayons used for this section was 347, making the grand total so far 1,059 and we're only halfway done. So this leads me to the second section of this video. This section features crayons that Crayola sells that are not in stores. And this section only features two products. This first one is a small 12 classroom pack. But the second product featured in this section, this bulk pack 800 count crayon set for the classroom. This one set alone is larger than the entire part of section one. This packet of crayons is an absolute unit. Look at it compared to the size of my head. Like look at my head and look at this. So as you can see, I have my work cut out for me. So let's get started. Another one bites the dust. see another crayon ever again. So, just got done with day three. And to be completely honest, I am so over this challenge already. But at this point, I have used a grand total of 1,871 crayons. And I still have another section to go. <laughs> uh. And by the way, I know some of you guys are wondering what I plan to do with these crayons afterwards. I'm gonna donate these all to a local elementary school because I never wanna see these ever again. I'm sorry, I am salty right now because I am burnt out from these crayons. You would be too if you used almost 2,000 crayons. If you look at the drawing, you'll notice some areas that have a lot of really thick areas of wax that are just packed in there. And the reason for that is because some of the colors in this thing, I had no use for them. So I was just really packing them in there. But other than that, I love how vibrant this drawing is. Like this is one of the most bright drawings that I've ever created on this channel. And now this leads me to the next section of this video. This section is gonna be dedicated to the products that Crayola calls crayons, but they're not technically crayons but they are, but also not. And in this section, I'm gonna finish the drawing. So I'm gonna use some crayons that have already been used. I'm gonna do some cleanup, some blurring, add some details. Uh, this section I'm very excited for because I feel like the hardest part is already behind us. I feel like we're over the hill and it's all smooth sailing from here. I'm feeling positive. I think I'll be able to finish this drawing today. Sure, let's get started. Okay. 
four days. It's done. I'm finally done. There you guys go. That was every single Crayola crayon product that I was able to buy. If you want to see more challenges like this, I have an entire playlist called Art Challenges. I will leave it right here. This has been quite the journey. I worked so hard on this video, so I would really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up or a comment to let the algorithm know that that's what's up. I hope you have the most wonderful day. I hope you have a safe and happy Halloween, and I will see you guys next video. Bye.